You look at our planet and there's a lot of blue. And there's a lot of blue that's very far away from land masses. These are deep sea habitats, largest ecosystem on our planet. So the deep sea is really the final frontier on our planet. It's the largest ecosystem on our planet. It has the most biomass out of any ecosystem on Earth. So it's something we really need to think about and really try to get to study, but it's been really hard for us as humans to get there for decades. We've realized that the deep sea is a place that we actually have a chance to conserve before it gets exploited. The deep, 300 feet to 1,000 feet, is super important because it's vastly untouched by human. What's super important is to create a catalog of the conditions as they currently exist today. We need to quantify them and, and freeze them in time and then come back and look at them again periodically. People say that we know uh, more about outer space and other planets than we know about our own oceans. It's totally true when it comes to the deep sea. What we're trying to do is find uh, diversity of species, you know, maybe see something new that hasn't been seen before. Whenever you put a camera down deep in the ocean, you never know what you're going to find. One of the main reasons why we're focusing on it is because our sharks are actually spending a lot of time in the deep sea. We've learned that these animals are going down into deep areas known as the twilight zone. This is below 200 meters, doing lots of diving and what we think could be foraging and even mating. It's really important for us as researchers who are developing hypotheses and explanations for what might be happening down there to actually see what the ecosystem looks like. The ability to go down and observe for long periods of time without disturbing the environment be able to really understand what that sample collection really means. Both of our Triton subs are uh, a matched pair. They're 305 meter ABS certified. We have these subs wired with some of the most cutting edge technologies for video recording, mounting different types of cameras, 360 degrees. Another one of the tools that we'll be using extensively on this expedition and future expeditions is environmental DNA. This is a cutting edge tool that allows us to sample and monitor habitats without actually having to catch an animal. In addition, we have hundreds of sharks tagged throughout the Bahamas with acoustic tags, building on our shark sanctuary initiative. So we're actually putting an acoustic receiver on all of our subs moving forward to try and capture animals that might be in the area. I'm here on this trip uh, dropping deep sea drop cameras that are baited. Uh, we call them BREVs or BREVs into the deep sea. You can record for about seven hours. It doesn't make any sound. It doesn't make that much light. And so we're able to attract things that might not normally come up to a deep sea exploration vehicle. Combining technology, science, and purpose uh, will we'll help us all, you know, try to preserve a world that we want to live in. What is so cool and captivating about this, this water world we live in, and it, it is beautiful, and it's exotic, and it's super adventure down there. With the deep sea, what we want to do with our data, with our video, with all of our work here in the subs, is put that package together and really bring it to the forefront of the policy front lines and protect some of these ecosystems before it's too late.